through some uh, Harbor Freight must-haves here. Some stuff I picked up today. Uh, I've had this old thing for years, and I bought it at Harbor Freight Tools because I needed to cut some holes in some regular tile, and it works fine for cutting holes in tile and for scribing, cutting, and stuff like that. It works okay, but. You know, I mean, it works probably as good as any other one does. Um, it is kind of rinky-dink, but it did, the whole mechanism on it is pretty cool. Um, and it does that scribe cutting thing where you slide it back and forth to, you know, scribe it to cut it. I, I prefer just getting the, the uh, bench top. Uh, this is the... A bench top air, uh, water saw by Harper Freight Tools. I would just prefer buying this if I were you. I mean, this thing's like $40, $50. Uh, drop a coupon on it, 20% off. Can't find those, just look online. Just put in 20% off on your, on your phone, you'll find it. But what I ended up doing is I started putting in some porcelain tile. So I just posted a video of how to, to prep for it. And uh, porcelain tile is pretty hard to cut, especially with um, with this guy. If you're trying to cut porcelain tile, you cannot cut it with this one. Yeah, you know, describe cut it. You have to have a wet saw. So, but this wet saw I've had for, I almost wore this thing out two times over. Got a hyper freight tool, spent, I don't know, 40 bucks on it years ago. I've done like 10 showers with this thing in a bunch of tile. I even cut, see this, this, uh, what's it called? Uh, slate. I did my whole porch on my other house with slate. I actually wore the blade out doing that. Um, that does wear down your blade pretty quickly. And uh, replaced the blade on it. it. Still works. The saw works great. Still cuts like crazy. And and yeah, you know, I'm getting a little hard to read the numbers here, but I think it's all right still. I'll keep using it till it stops. For the price I paid, I've already made way more money than I paid. They have one at Home Depot that's plastic. Didn't last near as long. I got one of those and a little three inch blade on it. And this saw has been just way better. The another thing that's a really cool thing to have um, from Harbor Freight Tools if you're doing tile, um, is this thing right here. Now this is a rinky-dink thing, okay? The, the, these, uh, let's see here. Uh, these things here, they lock into this thing here. And uh, then it has inside, there's a carbide tipped bit that cuts pretty good be surprising it actually cuts pretty good it cut through that porcelain tile and and so that's pretty hard stuff and so you're gonna have to have one of these if you're gonna do your own shower um, definitely a must-have for the price 28 bucks I don't think you can buy anything that would do this job for less than a hundred dollars anywhere else so you know for do if you're do it yourself or and you want to do your shower Definitely buy one of these for $27.99. Drop a coupon on it. It gets it down to whatever 10%, 20% off of that is. And uh, a really cool thing to get there. Also, I went there today, and I have to do some drywall work. So I got this nifty saw. And I don't know if you noticed, but this has saw blades on both sides. So this is pretty cool. So I got to cut out that drywall because we're putting in double sinks and I got to open that up and get, you know, get the plumbing moved over. You know, I got to have plumbing right here and plumbing right here. So I got to move it over. I'm going to probably just tie the drain in and just use the same drain, you know, and just have that on the outside of the drywall because you can't see it behind the vanity anyway. So, uh, but to do that, one of these here, these keyhole saws, a regular keyhole saw is pretty cool, but this one's kind of nice. It's about the same price as at Home Depot as a regular keyhole saw. 
and it's got blades on both sides. So, you know, you never know this Harbor Freight tools the handle might come off. But the handle came off mine at Home Depot. So, <laughs> you know, there's not much difference really. They're all cheap stuff. This was like six bucks or something. So not bad though, and it has blades on both sides. So I thought you guys might want to see that. Check it out. Um, so a couple more must-haves from a couple must-haves from Harbor Freight Tools. Um, I don't know what else I got there. They had a lot of they had a lot of cool stuff for doing tile. If you want to do tile your bathroom, uh, I thought I'd share that with you. And you guys just keep on going. I'd say definitely. I mean, yeah, their stuff's cheap. Yeah, sometimes it's junk. Sometimes it's good. But you know what? When you can do your job and you got one. If you're not doing, I mean, if you're a tradesman, I mean, by all means, go out and buy the, you know, the real deal. But if you're doing it yourself, or you're only gonna maybe do two or three showers or ten showers in your lifetime, then, or you maybe you're just start starting out. You're you're a contractor who's just getting started, and you know you want to make a name for yourself. And you want to start, so you, you got to do something. You don't have a lot of money. You can just get one of these, get you the first few jobs. Make some money, put some money in your pocket, and then buy the good one. So, anyway, it did work. It did cut through it. So, that's why I wanted to tell you about it. And uh, I didn't have to take it back before I got through the job. All right. I'll see you on the next video.